welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. This is Angela and you're not in the kitchen with me today. You're in the greenhouse and I just wanted to give you a little update on how our plants are doing. If you saw the bad dirt video then you know we've had some serious issues with some problems with getting a hold of bad dirt and as a result of that bad dirt our plants were doing horrible and if you saw the weekend vlog you saw that our tomatoes were also starting to suffer and look at them now after just one dose of food they are doing so much better so today i'm going to show you how i feed them and we'll probably be doing a little transplanting as well this is a about a two gallon bucket, about a one and a half to two gallon bucket. Uh, it's the fertilizer with the fertilizer we're using says to use two tablespoons for t for one gallon. So I put about a gallon of water in here, and I only put one tablespoon because you only do want to do about half strength. And so I'm just going to start watering these plants. But first, I want to show them to you. Look at that plant. When Jason showed you these. They were teeny tiny and doing horrible. I was seriously afraid that they were going to die. Now look at them. They are just, they are just insane how much they have come out of it. And I tell you, I praise God for it because I was getting scared. Look at these ground cherries. Remember, they were blooming. They were trying to bloom and they were only like that tall. But they were trying to bloom because they were in such distress. Now look at them. They're gorgeous. Now all I do at this point is I just dip a cup in and I just give them a good drink. This will probably probably be the last dose of half strength fertilize that I give to the peppers. I really don't know that they need any more. They are doing so well. I really don't know that, that they'll need any more than this. The tomatoes may need another dose next week, but Truthfully, we are not very far at all from them going into the ground. We are not far at all from that. I'm going to give them a drink of water with some fertilize, and then I'm probably going to start transplanting a few because we need to get everything down to one per pot because we need them to only be one per pot they will do so much better. They will finish off so much better if they're not sharing their space. And also, it helps out a lot with us. It gives us more plants so that we can bless somebody else with them. That's what we love to do. We love to be able to bless somebody else with some plants. Now, I'll show you these tomatoes. These tomatoes were so puny and i was so afraid that they were going to die the ground leaves here were completely yellow i i thought this was going to be the first year in forever that we were going to have to buy tomato plants but as you can see they have come out of it beautifully look at that that is a bonnie best which is one that we rely on heavily here on this homestead for canning now I'm going to give these girls a dose of half strength fertilize. You've probably heard a lot of people tell you to withhold water before you transplant, to not transplant them wet, that they're easier to transplant. That probably is true, but these plants are already recovering from distress. I don't want to withhold water from them and put them in more distress. They are recovering. So I am going to water them first and then put them into their new home very wet. I'm getting ready to start transplanting. So now I'm gonna moisten up some dirt so that I'm planting them in moist dirt. But because you guys know this dirt that we got is dead. So I'm going to moisten it with this half strength fertilized water. That way they'll be going into 
good dirt, not nasty dirt. Perfect consistency for starting seeds or transplanting. Okay, now we are going to start transplanting. I have a cup right here. We are just using regular old cups, just like we always do. I have poked three holes in the bottom. I just used a nail and a hammer, I'm just hammered. You do better, I will give you a piece of advice, you do better stacking up about six to eight of them and hammering through that many at one time. Otherwise, it tends to crack them if you just hammer them one or two at a time. So now we are going to scoop it full of dirt. Not full, but about like that. Now you wanna dig you a little hole in the middle and it's nice and wet with good fertilized water. So now the first thing we are going to transplant is these beautiful notapenos. See, they're both beautiful, so I know I don't want to discard one of them. I want to transplant. So I'm going to pick the smaller of the two. I'm just going to take my two fingers like a claw, and I'm going to rip it out just very gently. You don't want to disturb the roots too much. And see? Look at all those roots. That comes from bottom watering. We start bottom watering once they get to a certain size. That way they will absorb water from the bottom and it encourages a stronger root system. Now we're just going to pop it in. I'm going to slap some more dirt around the top to mound it up real good. Now we have a beautiful Notapeno plant ready to go to somebody else in just a few weeks. We're going to give it a chance to take root real good before we give it to someone else. But remember to mark it. Otherwise you won't know what it is. Now this one that we pulled from, that we pulled the plant from, you can see there's a big hole in the dirt. Now you want to cap that off with some more dirt and mound it up around the top. And see, now you have two beautiful notapeno plants that originally I thought was going to die. Now I'm going to show you a really good example of when something just needs to be discarded, which is a very hard thing for me to do because I love all plants and I think I can nurse them all back to health. It's just a, a little quirk I have. I think I can nurse every plant back to health. Even if it's dying, I think I can nurse it back to health. So this is very hard for me to discard, but I know I need to do it for the health of the one plant. See, in this pot, we have two German Johnsons. Both seeds that we planted sprouted. And as you can see, this one right here is very vigorous very strong very tall the stem is very strong now look at this little puny guy see how see how much smaller he is he is significantly smaller and see his stem is a lot thinner see his stem is a lot thinner he's a lot more puny he just needs to be he just needs to be discarded you just need to you just need to discard him and forget about it now since since we did the discard we are going to top him off with a lot more dirt so that he can grow big and healthy and strong because these will be going in the ground in probably just a couple of weeks. There's really not much more cold weather forecasted here, so these could be going in the ground in just a couple of weeks after we have hardened, hardened them off. We will be doing videos on hardening off. We've never done those videos in the past, but that it's an extremely important step. You want to harden these plants off before they go in the ground. It prevents transplant shock. So now I've got a lot more to transplant. I've got a lot more work to do in this greenhouse. And anybody who tells you that these greenhouses don't get hot enough, they're full of baloney. Because let me tell you, it's getting hot in this greenhouse. So I'm gonna get busy and let you guys go back to what you're doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you see to never give up. Even if it looks like your plants are gonna die, even if it looks like they have no hope because you got a hold of some bad dirt, don't throw them away. Just feed them and look what happens. Now we have beautiful plants. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you guys so much. We love you. God bless and have an amazing day.